Wow! I absolutely love this place. This is where I want to be and do. Lily Rose Barrett. What the bloody hell are you doing here? Just hanging out in the place I wanted to be in due time. Lily Rose Barrett. You only started year 11, and you're already bunking off. Mom and Dad will be pleased. No, please don't grass me up. I have no choice in the matter. You ruin my day by demoralizing my reputation here. You really are annoying. If I were you Lily Rose Barrett, I would go straight home. I'm not having this. Go. Now. Fine, I've had it anyway. See you at home Roscoe. Right, I am going worm my way around that brother of mine. I am going to say to mother that I've been to school and got all aces when she asks me. That sounds like a really good idea. Mother will never find out about what really happened. Okay, time to get walking whilst carrying on with the plot ahead. I'm really happy now, that's the mood I need for seeing mother. I am going to absolutely love this with a passion. Almost there now, not long to go. What a day. I'm looking forward to hearing about my children's and husband's day. Hey, mother. I'm home from school. Hello, Lily, darling. How was school today? It was simply awesome. I had the best day ever. I'm very glad to hear that, darling. Did you get any good marks today? Yeah. All aces. Well done, sweetheart. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, mother. I knew you'd be pleased. Off you go now, my lovely. Yes, mother. I'm going now. See you later. Hey, mum. I'm home. Hello, Roscoe, darling. How was college today? Not too good to be honest. Why? What wasn't so good about it? Lily was there when she should have been at school. Mother, that's just not true. Lily Rose Barrett. How dare you bunk off school? Then come home and lie to me about getting good marks. I didn't bunk off school. Lily, Rose, Barrett, you just wait till your father gets home. Go to your room. Right now. You are a very naughty girl. Why that bastard brother of mine? I hate it when he does this to me. Hey, honey. I'm home. Hi, James, dear. How was work? It was good, thanks. And your day? Well, it was good until I found out Lily bunked off school and went to the college instead. Lily bunked off school again after promising us she wouldn't, did she? Yes, I'm afraid so. I haven't properly punished her yet because I thought we ought to do it together. As her parents. Hey, father. Don't you hey, father, me, young lady. Your mother told me you bunked off today. No, I didn't. Don't lie to your father like that. How dare you? But, school got out early today. That does it. Lily Rose Barrett, we have had enough of your lies. You promised us you wouldn't bunk off again. I know that. So, what were you doing at the college instead? Nothing. Just hanging out. Young lady, you do not hang out during school hours. You do it in your own time. You are grounded for three weeks. Come on, that's not fair. Don't argue with us, young lady. You're grounded. End of story. Now, go to your room and stay there. You've been very naughty today. Fine. I've had it anyway. I can't believe I got grounded again. It's not fair, Lily Rose Barrett. If you don't stop this babyish crying right now, you will be grounded more. Oh, right. Sorry, mother. You've been grounded for bunking off school today. You know how naughty you were That's to do it. that. You're grounded for two months. We both know you don't mean that.
Wow! What a morning and a half! This sounds like a good day to go out. I just ran into my neighbor Peter, and he told me he built a time machine, like the one in the film I've seen. The only question is, what was the name of that film? Oh, yeah, it was Back to the Future. I was shocked and said, are you telling me you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Good morning little sis, how are you? Good morning Roscoe, I'm very well thanks. Did I hear you quote lines from Busted's Year 3000, and Back to the Future? You heard me correctly. One of my favorite songs and my favorite film. Cool, I'll see you downstairs, little sis. Wow, it is such a gorgeous morning. I fancy some time with my dad. But, I'm not so sure about what I'd like to do though. I'd quite like my dad to surprise me. He never ceases to amaze me with his trips out. His last trip was amazing. I went to the fun fair, and had the time of my life. Time for me to go downstairs and see my family, of whom I love to bits. What a gorgeous morning. Good morning, Lily. Good morning, Father. Aren't you coming downstairs, sweetie? Why? Who's down there? Mary Poppins? No, just your mother, brother and I. I'll be down in a minute. Okay, sweetie. See you soon. See you soon, Father. I'd better get a move on. Sorry I'm a bit late. That's not a problem, darling. No problem at all, sweetie. No worries, little sis. I love you all so much, you're all so fucking awesome. Naughty girl, little sister. Did I just swear? Yes you did, you said fuck. Now, wait a moment, son. That doesn't mean you can use bad language too. Sorry, dad. More to the point, Lily, you were very naughty to use that language yourself just now. I know, mother. This homps. Lily, do I need to ground you? No, mother. But, holy shit. Lily Rose Barrett. If I hear any more foul language from you, I will ground you. I don't want to be grounded. Well then. Don't be naughty. Stop swearing. So, it's just you and me is it, mother? Yes, darling. It's you, my darling daughter and me, your loving mother today. Your father and brother have gone out for father and son time. Wicked. Mother and daughter time. Yes, darling. Remember, you'll be grounded if you use another naughty word. Or I naughty in any other way. I know, mother. And, are you going to be naughty today? What? and get grounded. Get out of town, that's too risky. Are you stealing lines from films again? Oh, Lily, that's very naughty of you. Sorry, mother. I'll let you off just this once. If you do it again, you'll be grounded. Naughty girl. You mean you'll actually ground me for quoting lines from my favorite movies? Yes. I will ground you for quoting lines from your favorite movies if you keep at it because it's stealing somebody else's copyright, and it's naughty. Very, 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 very naughty. One more movie quote, and you're grounded, young lady. Are you telling me you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? That's it, young lady. I warned you, and you didn't listen. Sorry, mother. It's too late for that now, young lady. You're grounded. How dare you continue quoting movies after being warned, you naughty girl. Wow! 
It feels great at Tess's house. I am going to get up to so much. I would have thought that after a day at school, that I deserve something like this. I'm sure mother won't mind. Well actually I've just realized something. I was supposed to notify her when I go to friends' houses. I'd better get a move on. I'm ever so late. Why did I not tell mother? She is going to kill me when I get home. Run past the exterior of my school, as I run back home. I think after too much running, I need to slow the pace, otherwise I will be puffed out. A chance to walk past my favorite restaurant, but I mustn't dilly-dally. Just this crash before I arrive back home now, but I am almost upon my time constraints. Oh my god! I mustn't be late. Better pick up a pace. I'll be in trouble if I'm any later. I don't understand it. Lily's never usually this late coming home from school. Where can she be? Mother. I'm sorry I'm this late home from school. Lily, where have you been? Relax, Mother. I've only been at Tessa's. Lily Rose Barrett, you are 16 years old now. You know very well you have to notify me when you go to friends' houses. Why do I have to do that, Mother? Because you're my daughter, and I love you. On top of that, I worry about you. Were you worried about me, Mother? Lily Rose Barrett. I was worried sick about you. If you were gone another minute, I would have had to call the police. Mother, I'm really sorry about that. I promise it won't happen again. You're not going back out there tonight, young lady. Naughty, 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 naughty girl. What can I do now? You can go to your room right now, and stay there because you're grounded tonight. How dare you? Fine. Go. Now. Well, here I am. Grounded again. I'm such a naughty girl. Lily, darling. Look at me. Yes, mother. You do understand why you've been grounded tonight, don't you? Yes, of course. Because I went to Tessa's without telling you first. Exactly. And you're really naughty for doing so. Okay, mother. You don't need to keep on about it, Lily Rose Barrett. How dare you talk to me like that? You are now grounded for the rest of the week. Naughty girl. Nice going, Lily. Now you've gone and got yourself grounded for a week. Learn to behave yourself. Wow. I have the house to myself. What can I do today? Maybe watch a bit of TV. I looked in the TV mag and who wants to be a millionaire is on. But only they're playing for 10 million pounds. There is this guy who is on 20,000 pounds before the end of the show. He shows potential to go further. Let's get a move on. I can't wait to see this. Yippee you you. What's going on here? And, why would I want to know that? Let's release the crack on. Oh, good. Let's get on with it please.
It's a, you idiot. Hey there, baby sister. Hi, Ramana. Mum asked me to come and make sure you stay out of trouble. What are you watching? Who wants to be a millionaire? This idiot's on 40,000 pounds, he's going for 80,000. He loses 30,000 if he gets it wrong. Games like this are a con. That's why I don't watch them. Regardless of what you think, Ramana, I like this show and have done since it first started. Well, you are absolutely forbidden to watch it while in my care. Turn it off now, or you're grounded. No, I will not turn it off. Well then, you are grounded for the next two weeks. Naughty girl. She can't be serious. I am totally serious, Missy. You are very naughty. I've brought some nappies, and I will put one on you in a moment. You think you're going to put a nappy on me? Good luck. Yes, I am going to put a nappy on you in a minute, you big baby. In fact, come with me, and we will put your nappy on. Now. Huh. She actually did put a nappy on me, there's a laugh. Lily, I put a nappy on you because you were being such a baby. And if you're going to act like the baby, you're going to be treated like one. So it's nappies for you until our parents get back. So, I have to stay in nappies for the next two weeks? Yes, you're in nappies for the next two weeks. Do you need your nappy changing? Not yet. My nappy is still dry. Nappy? Who's wearing a nappy? Answer my question. Who is wearing a nappy? I am, mother. I'm wearing a nappy. Why are you wearing a nappy, darling? Mum, I put a nappy on her for being such a baby. Before you go any further with this, can one of you change me, please? Alright, darling. Come with me and we'll change your nappy. As for you. Young lady, when I come back from changing Lily's nappy, it'll be a nappy for you. Me, a nappy? I don't think so. Yes, Ramana and Barat, you are having a nappy on, right after Lily's nappy is changed. So, come with me as well. Ha, ha, mum put a nappy on you. She also changed your nappy. Ramana and Barat. I put a nappy on you because you put a nappy on Lily first. If you're going to be naughty and put nappies on her, you're going to wear nappies too, young lady. Now, both of you sit and play quietly. My precious little babies. I will change your nappies, when you need it. Now we both have nappies on, baby sister. Yes, but your nappy was a punishment for putting a nappy on me in the first place. I know that. I appear to have wet myself. Did I just hear someone say she's wet herself? Yes, mother. Ramana has wet her nappy and needs changing. So, Ramana, you need a nappy change, do you? Yes, mum. I need a nappy change, and fast. Okay, darling. We'd better go and change your nappy right away. Come with me and we'll get your nappy changed. At least I can keep my nappy clean and dry for longer. Lily, Mum said it's time to change your nappy. But, I don't need a nappy change yet. Look, don't be naughty. Just go and change your nappy. Change my nappy? Why, when I don't need to, Lily Rose Barrett. Come and change your nappy, right now. No. I don't need a nappy change, Lily Rose Barrett. Your nappy is filthy, I can smell it from upstairs. Come and change it right now, or you're grounded. Fine, good girl. Let's go and change your nappy this instant. That's Lily off getting her nappy changed. That's much better. 
Is Lily all nice and clean? Yes, she has a new nappy on now. All nice and clean. All nice and clean, and in my new nappy. In that case, you girls will remain in nappies forever. Nappies? Forever? Yes, girls. Nappies forever. I think we should put a nappy on you too, mother. You girls want to put a nappy on your own mother? Don't be naughty, I don't need a nappy. Well, I think you do need a nappy, mother. Oh, you naughty girl. Still wanting to put a nappy on your own mother. Sorry, mother but as they always say, revenge is a dish best served cold. Or in this case, hot. Come, we'll go and put your nappy on. Now. You are a very naughty little girl for putting this nappy on me. How dare you? It's revenge, mother. And you keep that nappy on until you need to be changed, you hear? You're grounded. How dare you put a nappy on me and then talk to me like that? I think you need to be changed. We don't want you being constipated. Or should I say needing to shit any longer? Let's go and change your nappy. Here I am at the underground station. I believe I'll sit down. Let's see. Lily sitting on the platform. Wait a minute. Lily Rose Barrett. Yes, Mother? What are you doing out here during school hours? Just catching some fresh air. I knew it. You're bunking off again, aren't you? No, Mother. Nothing of the kind. Don't you lie to me like that. How dare you, naughty girl. Calm down before you start to lose your hair. Lily Rose Barrett, you are grounded for three months. How dare you talk to me like that? Don't shit yourself. That language is totally unacceptable. Okay mother calm down for fuck's sake, you. If you say that word again you'll be grounded indefinitely. And which word is that? Don't even try it. You know which word I'm on about. Is it fuck? Or could it be piss? Or maybe even shit? Or wanker? Lily, don't you dare. I mean it. Of course. You mean. That does it. You are now grounded for an indefinite period. Well, I think you do need a nappy, mother. Oh, you naughty girl. Still wanting to put a nappy on your own mother. Sorry, mother but as they always say, revenge is a dish best served cold. Or in this case, hot. Come, we'll go and put your nappy on. Now. You are a very naughty little girl for putting this nappy on me. How dare you? It's revenge, mother. And you keep that nappy on until you need to be changed, you hear? You're grounded. How dare you put a nappy on me and then talk to me like that? I think you need to be changed. We don't want you being constipated. Or should I say needing to shit any longer? Lily Rose Barrett. What's your language? Let's go and change your nappy. Lily. Rose. Barrett. You just wait till your father comes back. Nah. Nah nah nah. Nah. I'm the queen of this house. Lily Rose Barrett, I don't think so somehow. How dare you let me catch you get cheeky to your mum. Oh, James Charles Barrett, I don't require your input here thanks. Dewey, what is that awful smell? James, honey, I appeared to have messed my nappy. Nappy, who put you in nappies? 
Lily Rose Barrett, why did you put your mother in nappies? Because I did it out of revenge. James, hurry up, or I'll get a nappy rash. Come on, let's change your nappy. For a pair of knickers? Please do, I feel really uncomfortable. Lily Rose Barrett, you are staying in nappies for being a big baby? Me? A baby? Come on, let's go and put you a nappy on. Now. James? Why are you so sad? Lily's put me in nappies. I shall deal with her. See you in a bit, my precious honey bee. Blimey, it is very quiet today. Hello, darling wife. How is my little jelly bin today? I'm very well, thank you, darling. Your wife is pleased to hear that. Hey, mum and dad. Hi, Romana, darling. How are you today? Not bad, thanks. That's good to hear. What a day. It couldn't have gone better. Lily, are you still in bed? Yes, Roscoe. How come? Because I'm pregnant. And I don't feel very well. You're pregnant? Are you sure? Very sure. Blimey. Who's the father? You are. But, I'm your brother. I'd never get you pregnant. That's disgusting. Well, you did. Accept it. You are the father of my child. Live with it. No. I refuse to take responsibility for that child. It's not mine. I'm not your baby's dad. And that's that. Just admit you got me pregnant, Trosco. Admit you're this baby's dad. I'll ask you one more time. Who is the father of your child? I got a DNA test. We're soon to find out who the baby's dad is. I've been asked to drop by with the DNA test results personally. Let's have them then. Well, Lily. You, like all of us down at the DNA testing labs will be shocked to learn that your brother Roscoe is the father of your child. I bloody knew it. Please tell me you're joking. I'm sorry Roscoe but I cannot do that. You're this baby's dad whether you want it or not. We will not let it get aborted or put up for adoption. I feel sick at that thought. Me? The father of my own sister's child? How could I be? Well, the test results showed you were drunk when it happened. You probably don't remember. Of course. Now I remember. What a gorgeous day. Indeed so. Very beautiful. Hey, Mom and Dad. Yes, Roscoe? What can we do for you, son? Lily is. I'm pregnant. That's wonderful. Not really. Why not? Because DNA tests show that I'm the father. What? Roscoe James Barrett. How could you get your own sister pregnant? What were you thinking having sex with her? That is bloody disgusting. How could you do that to poor Lily? You raped her and now you've fathered her child. We will not allow this baby to be born. She will get an abortion. While we are gone, you are going to think about how badly you've damaged her. He was drunk when it happened and didn't know he'd ended up in my bed. So please don't be cross. Is that true, son? Yes, Mum and Dad. That is true. Lily getting pregnant by me was a terrible accident. Son, we're very sorry we jumped to conclusions. We need to go and put this right. Maybe some TV will help. We're back. How did it go? The baby has been aborted. It's all over now, son. And you're forgiven. Lily. Come here. Yes, Roscoe. I'm very sorry I got drunk, and then came home and got you pregnant. You're 100% forgiven, brother. I love you. I love you too, little sister. That was an experience and a half. It has made me realize just how immature I was being. It's time I grew up, now that's much better. Now that I've put my immaturity behind me, 
I can make a fresh start. Lily has been upstairs for quite some. Well, don't just stand there. Tell me what you think. Lily, you look splendid. That look really suits you. Thanks, father. What's all this about? I've matured, that's all. And you look very mature, sweetheart. Well done. I am so proud of you. I thought that now that all the accidental pregnancy stuff is all over, so should my immaturity end also. And we welcome the new you with such relief. And how pretty you look. Oh, father, that's so sweet. You're a very mature young lady now, sis. I'm proud of you and I want. Roscoe, you might. No, you will definitely want to think very carefully before you utter your next word. To see you with a boyfriend soon. I love the new me. I'm so proud of myself. Sixteen years old and finally mature. Better get home now. Lily has been gone a while. Don't worry about her so much. She can look after herself. She's sixteen now. Right on, father. Did you have a nice time? Yes thank you, father. Good. Your mother was worried about you. Mother. I love you but you've no need to worry about me. I can take care of myself. I'm 16, and I'll be leaving school next week. I know, darling. But I shall continue to worry about you because you're my daughter and I love you. It's a mother's job to worry about her precious babies. Oh shucks. I'm not a baby anymore. You'll always be my baby though. I know what you're going to say next. I'll understand one day when I have kids of my own. Exactly. You are thinking about having kids aren't you? I'd like to be a mother someday but not yet. I'm too young. You're old enough to have a baby at your age. I do have a boyfriend now. His name is Robert Sanchez. We've been going out for three weeks now. That's wonderful, darling. Here we are in the year 2000, and our 16-year-old daughter has a boyfriend. When do we get to meet him? He'll be here soon. Okay, babes. I'm here. Robert honey. Welcome to our home. This is my mother Millie, my father James and my brother Roscoe. Hey there. It's great to meet you all. It's lovely to meet you too, Robert. We're glad our daughter has found a man who loves her and makes her happy. So, when can we expect to get you two married? That's what I was coming to. James, Millie. I'd like to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Please can I get married to Robert? Mother and father? Lily, are you absolutely sure you want to get married so soon? Yes, I'm sure. In that case you have our permission. Congratulations. I'd like Moscow to be my best man. I'd be honored. I'd like Romana to be my bridesmaid. And Romana is... My sister. Hi Romana. And you are... Robert Sanchez, your sister's fiancé. Nice to meet you. You're getting married. That's right, and I'd like you to be my bridesmaid. First of all, congratulations. And second, I'd love to be your bridesmaid. First of all, we'd like to thank you for a great five years. We'll never forget it. Now, we have something to tell you. Go ahead. As we're sure you're all aware Lily and I got married last week. We are aware of that. What's the news this time? I'm pregnant. We're having a baby. And we couldn't be happier. Congratulations to the two of you. May your parenthood bring you years of joy. Welcome to the world, Lizzie Lily Sanchez. Mummy and Daddy love you so much. I'm so proud of us, honey. Seventeen, married and we have a beautiful baby daughter. She is a cutie.
Mummy and Daddy's sweet little angel getting visitors today. Sweet little baby getting visitors. Knock knock. Granny and Grandpa have come to see baby Lizzie. Here she is, mother and father. Come on right in. James, Millie. Meet your new granddaughter, Lizzie Lily Sanchez. What do you think of her? Ow, oh, she's very sweet. Very sweet baby. She reminds me of you when you were born, Lily. A very quiet baby. She doesn't like crying at all. We know she needs her nappy changed when she screws her little face up. We know she needs feeding when she gives us the sad look. And we know she's tired when she yawns. Right now she's happy because she's smiling. Sounds like you have it all under control. We do indeed. My wife and I love our daughter to bits. She means the whole world to us. Here we are. Auntie Ramana and Uncle Roscoe have come to see baby Lizzie. Here she is, Ramana and Roscoe. Your new niece, Lizzie Lily Sanchez. Oh, how precious. Our niece is so adorable. That she is a no mistake. She is one lovely baby. Looks like mummy's sweet little angel needs her nappy done. Come on, precious. Let's go and change your bum. Is she all clean now? Yes, babes. She's all clean now. Come to daddy now, baby. Look at you sitting on daddy's knee. Happy baby. So gorgeous, so precious, so sweet. Mummy and daddy love you. What a gorgeous morning. It certainly is. We have arrived. What's the special occasion? Well, Mother, Lizzie is due to say her first word any time now and we thought the whole family should be here to witness it. This should be great. It should indeed delete you. We waited six months to hear her talk. Well, is she going to talk or not? Patience, Roscoe. Don't get pushy. It takes time. Son. It took you nearly two years to start talking, son. Remember? Lizzie, mummy's little angel. Sweet, gorgeous, lovely, precious little darling. Mummy and daddy's little princess. We love you to bits. I'm very glad to see all the family love we had for you has rubbed off on you, sweetheart. We can see how much you love your daughter. I love her with all my heart and I wouldn't give her up for anything else in the world. And I love her just the same, but she takes after her mum. She certainly does. I was also the kind of baby who hated crying and made faces when it was time to feed me, change my nappies and put me to bed. That you were no mistake. And now your daughter is exactly the same. I hope she doesn't grow up being naughty all the time like you did. She's bound to misbehave sometimes. After all, it's not easy to be good all the time. What will your discipline methods be? We'll start by putting her in time now, as she hits five years old, we'll start sonding her to her. And then, as she reaches seven years old we'll start grounding her if she's naughty. What are you chuckling at? Mummy! Mummy and Daddy's little angel said her first word. Mummy, we are so chuffed. Everybody should be here soon. They certainly should. We're here, Mum and Dad. Just Lily, Robert and the kids to come. Here we are, Mother and Father. Sorry we're late. Mason couldn't find his glasses. No need to apologize. We fully understand. There was more his eyesight he couldn't find. <laughs> the four eye freak. Shelby, don't start that again. We already had enough of that on the way down here in the car. Leave Mason alone. Lizzie, don't start the fight again. You're the one that's starting it again, Shelby, not me. Don't put it all on me. Lizzie and Shelby, stop that at once. You were both warned about kicking off before we left the house. 
You'll be grounded if you carry on. Now look what you've done, Lizzie. Mum's pissed off at us. Shelby Rose Sanchez, I've warned you about that language. How dare you ignore my warning. You are grounded for two weeks. Naughty girl, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ha ha, you got grounded and I didn't. Ha 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 ha. Loser, loser, loser. Lizzie Lily Sanchez, how dare you stand there and poke fun at your sister. You also are grounded. But for three weeks. Naughty girl. You should know better than to behave like that. Calm down darling. The girls were naughty and deserve to be grounded. You did the right thing. Girls, are you trying to get yourselves grounded more? Don't you dare continue being naughty. I don't think either of us are gonna like what we're gonna see now. Mason, son, you're absolutely right. Your naughty sisters are really trying my capable limits. Listen to me you naughty pair. You need to stop this behavior right now. Your poor mother is losing it. Listen to your uncle. Naughty girls. Cheeky little monkeys. Acting like babies instead of the big girls you're supposed to be. You need nappies on. What was that, Mum? You and Shelby need nappies on. Why? Because you still act like babies. Have you brought some nappies with you? Yes, Mother. Pampers baby dry. Size 6. Then what are you waiting for? Go and put nappies on those naughty girls. Come on girls. Let's go and clean you up and put your nappies on. You girls will stay in nappies for the rest of the day. I hope this teaches you. What a good day this is. The three Sanchez siblings sitting together. What more could we want? My force exactly, big sisters. Kids, can your father and I have your attention please? We hate to interrupt your quiet time, but we regret to inform you that one of you has been very naughty. Who's been naughty, Mum and Dad? I know it wasn't me. No, Mason. It wasn't you who was naughty. It was one of your sisters. Which one of us was it, Mum and Dad? Lizzie, I think you know exactly who was naughty. It most certainly wasn't me. Yes, it was. You have left your room in the most obscene mess, and that is very, very naughty of you. Go and tidy it right now, or you're grounded. But my room is tidy. That's it. You're grounded, Missy. How dare you sit here and lie to us about your room being tidy. Your grounding is to weeks. We will extend it if you try to argue back. Don't you dare. Lizzie, this is good, isn't it? Yes, Shelby, it's very good. Hello, you three. Wait a moment. Where's Mason? We don't know, Mum. Girls, this isn't funny. It's a very serious situation. Your brother is missing. Where is he? Mum, we honestly don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You don't know what I don't know means. How thick are you? First of all, Lizzie Lily Sanchez, how dare you speak to me like that? I am your mother, you should respect me, you naughty girl. And second, what have you done to your brother? We haven't done anything to him. Now you listen to me, you naughty girls. We all know very well that you pick on Mason at any chance you get because you're both very naughty and never show him the love you should. He is your brother for goodness sake. So confess before I ground you. Confess the world. Don't even go there, you naughty bear. Confess to picking on your brother, or you're both grounded. What's going on here? 
Our son has gone missing and the naughty girls are to blame. Lizzie Lily and Shelby Rose Sanchez. I will not have this kind of behavior from my daughters. What did you do to your brother? Nothing. You two are very naughty to keep this kind of behavior up. You must have done something, otherwise he would still be here. What makes you think he's run away? The fact that he's not in here with you, or anywhere to be seen upstairs. That means you two naughty girls have obviously done something to him. He's still in the house. Did you honestly think your father and I were going to believe that? Because we don't. We know you're lying to us, and just for that, you are both grounded for four weeks. How dare you be so naughty? Lily. Robert. Look who I found wandering the streets alone, crying. We knew he'd run away, and it's all Lizzie and Shelby's fault. Why is that, I wonder? Stop accusing us, Mum and Dad, it's not our fault. Whose fault is it then? If you're not both to blame then one of you is. Whoever it was had better own up, right now or be grounded until they do. Well girls, we're waiting. Whose fault is it that Mason here ran away in ears? It's my fault Mason got upset and ran away. I was teasing him and hitting him around. I don't know what came over me. Why, Lizzie? Why? Out of the two of you, you're the better one when it comes to Mason. I think you're just vouching for Shelby. It wasn't really you, was it? No, it wasn't. Then why let yourself take the blame? Because... Shelby, you know perfectly well it was you who made poor Mason run away from home crying. How could you do that and then sit here and watch with malice as I vouched for you? I will not cover for you again, you malicious little monster. You make me so angry that I could. Lizzie sweetheart. We're sorry we jumped to conclusions. You're no longer grounded. And we get that Shelby has made you angry but please calm down. We know you love your brother and you try your best to make sure he's happy but we can't bear to see you like this. It breaks our hearts. I'm sorry mom and dad but I can't calm down. Shelby has made me so angry I could give her such a thrashing. Lizzie, you look constipated. Maybe I ought to put a nappy on you. You are impossible. Shelby, I can't take this anymore. Poor Lizzie and Mason. I feel sorry for them. As for you, Shelby Rose Barrett. You have been incredibly naughty today. How dare you pick on Mason and make him run away from home, making us think Lizzie had a part in it when she didn't. On top of that, you watched with malice as she covered for you, which then in turn made her angry with you. For all of this you were grounded for 13 weeks. How dare you? You are also having nappies on. Naughty girl. You have really pushed it this time. Come with me, and I will put you in appeal, now. The funny thing is the boy reckons men can get pregnant. What? Darling, are you having a laugh or are you serious? I cannot tell a lie. I'm very serious, Mum. What a ridiculous thing for that silly boy to think. I know. Men can't get pregnant because they don't have ovaries or wombs. No. They don't. Anyway, what seems to have sparked your interest in getting pregnant? I just can't help wondering what it felt like when you were pregnant with me. Lizzie, my darling daughter, when I was pregnant with you, it was like magic, your father and I were really excited to be having you, our precious little baby. Ah, uh, Mom, I feel really special, and it was a true honor to be your firstborn. You are really special, sweetheart. I am so proud of the mature little girl you've become. Thanks, Mom, I just hope Shelby sees sense and follows suit one day soon. That would be nice. While your father is away on business it's just me and you three. I hope she doesn't play up any harder than she does when he's around. I dare say it looks like you could use some help. Why don't I take Dad's place until he gets back? It's a lovely offer, darling but you're only eight, and that's too young to be acting like a parent. I fully understand. Leave me alone Shelby, I've done nothing to you. 
Stop being a crybaby, Mason. You're six years old now. Back to the nappies. Don't you dare let me hear you making that kind of fight again. You are a very naughty girl. Lizzie, look at me. I know you're angry but that doesn't give you the authority to tell your naughty sister off. Leave her to me. Take Mason and try to calm him down. Mason, come on bro. You need cheering up. What do you say I take you to the park? I'd love that Lizzie. I'd love that very much. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Look after him, darling. He'll be well looked after, Mum. As for you, Shelby Rose Sanchez. Come here, right now. What? You are being very naughty today, and I am very, very cross with you. How dare you pick on Mason again, then threaten to put an appy on him, and then speak to me like that. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You are such a naughty little girl. You'll go to bed if this behavior continues. I'm off out. You're not leaving this house for a whole month. You are grounded messy. Those nappies are yours and only you must wear them. Naughty girl. We'll change your nappy now, and then it's off to bed. Bed. Now. What a lovely. Shelby Rose Sanchez, you have really done it this time. How dare you do this to Mason, you naughty girl. He is going to need urgent medical attention because of you and your naughty stunt. Why can't you be more like Lizzie? Why can't you be nice to him? He's your brother for good. Shelby, what's the matter? Why are you crying? I was just having painful memories of being naughty. I can't take it anymore. Shelby, don't you see what this means? You're putting all that behind you. You're making a fresh start with your life. Really? Yes, little sister you should be proud of yourself. I'm very proud of you. I feel much better now. Blimey, our daughters have been after a while. I know, I wonder what's wrong. Here they come now. Good morning, mother, father and darling little brother. How are you all this fine day? Don't get carried away. Carried away? But how can I be getting carried away when my feet are firmly on the ground? Alright, you got me. Very clever. Lord bless me. Shelby's being mature. What's this about, Shelby? It's about time I grew up, isn't it? It certainly is, and we welcome it. Shelby, do you even realize you sounded like you were 20 just now? Oh, Mason, don't be daft. How can I sound like I'm 20 when I'm only 7? Shelby, I'm not sure if you realize this but you're talking like a 20 year old. You sound so grown up. Lizzie sounds like a 30 something when she is angry. Just like a mother. Gosh, Shelby. I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or to just say I love you, baby. Lizzie, you sounded just like a mother then. Slow the pace you're only 8. Only 8 and thus is being really great. I like it when you talk like your mom. No joke when you're old enough you'll make a great mother. Here we are again. Another fine day. Absolutely. Hello, girls. Hello, Mum and Dad. Mother and Father. Is Mason around? He's around here somewhere. Where? Try right there. Hi, Mum and Dad. Hello, son. Did you sleep well last night? Yes, thank you, Mum and Dad. That's good to hear. My darling precious son. What are we doing today? Well, Mason and I are going to go out for some father and son time. 
while you girls and I are going to stay here and have our special mother and daughter time. You have two daughters though. I meant I was going to spend time with both of you. My gorgeous daughters. We need some time to ourselves without the boys. Mason and I are going to head off now. See you girls later. Come on son, let's go. Girls, this day is more about you than it is about me. As your loving mother, I'm leaving it up to you what you want to do. So what would you like to do? We'd like to play Bouncy Castle on the sofa. Apart from that, it's too dangerous. We were only joking, mother. What cheeky little monkeys you are. The pair of you. Let's have some bananas then. You two mustn't get carried away. How can we get carried away if we're not up in the sky or in your rooms? All right girls, that's enough now. You're seven and eight years old now. Come on, you two. One of the best songs from the 1968 musical film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. You girls are so sweet, and... Lord bless me. Mother and father. How lovely to see you. What happened? Did you sneeze? Oh grandfather, you and your puns. Why are you so surprised to see us? We weren't expecting you. We thought you might like to see us. And you thought right. We loved seeing you. You girls are so mature and well behaved. You've noticed how Lucy and I aren't acting like babies anymore. You're still my little babies though. Perhaps we ought to wear nappies then. Don't be daft, shall we? We're mum's children and she loves us. We'll always be her babies. Just like your mum will always be our little baby. Oh shucks. You two are going to grow up to be fine young ladies, and Mason will grow up to be a fine young man. We just know it. We can't wait. That's not the point, Olivia, and you you know it. Then what is the point, Lily? That's mummy to you. Show some respect you naughty girl. I am your mother, how dare you speak to me like that? Where's Robert then? That's daddy to you missy. You do not address me like that. That's very naughty. But. No buts, Olivia. You are very naughty to behave like that. On top of that. Talking to mummy and daddy the way you did was very naughty. Go to your room, right now. I refuse. And how dare you disobey us, that is, very, very, naughty. You'll go to bed if you talk to us like that again. No you don't. What's it got to do with you? I knew it. You're being naughty again, aren't you? No. Then perhaps you wouldn't mind telling us why mum and dad are angry? Better get some nap. Don't even go there. Look at all the constipated people. Time to put nappies on them. Olivia Laura Sanchez. How dare you threaten to put nappies on us? You do not threaten us like that. Ever. If anybody should have nappies on, it's you. You are acting like a baby. Naughty girl. Five years old and acting like a baby. It's 2019 now, and you still insist on being naughty. Stop it. I do believe we told you to go to your room. Go. Now, you naughty girl. Don't disobey them. Get your naughty bottom up those stairs and into your bedroom, right now. Fine. I shall take you up there myself. Put a nappy on her while you're at it. Will do, mum. As for you, Olivia Laura Sanchez. Come with me and I will put you a nappy on. Now. All sorted. I've even put her to bed. Thank you, darling. 2019. Your father and I are now 35. I'm now 18. I'm now 17. And I'm now 16. Olivia has a lot of growing up to do. Fat chance of that happening. In order for her to grow up she needs to start being mature. Lizzie, Shelby and Mason. We are very proud of the fine young adults you've become. So are we.
time to be naughty again. Olivia Laura Sanchez. If you think you're going to be naughty while I'm looking after you, you are sadly mistaken. Actually, Shelby, you're the one who is mistaken, not I go to your room. Olivia Laura Sanchez, I think you'll find that I am the one who is in charge, not you. How dare you talk to me like that? You naughty girl, if you keep up with this bad behavior, your nappy will go on and you will go to bed. Stop it at once. Looks like I ought to put your nappy on, now. I am this close to putting your nappy on and putting you to bed. You are being a very naughty girl. Why are you so angry? I am angry because you are being very naughty, Missy. In fact you're being such a naughty girl you can go to your room. Now, go. To. Your. Room. Right now. Naughty girl, how dare you behave this way. I can't be asked. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Go to your room this instant, you badly behaved little girl. If you haven't gone up in five seconds I will take you up. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. I am taking you upstairs and changing your bum. Meaning I am going to put you in your nappy, and then I am going to put you to bed. Naughty girl. Lay down, now. Why? Because you are having your nappy ill, and you are going to bed. Get. In. Bed. Now. Get to sleep and consider how you'll improve yourself tomorrow. Naughty girl. What a lovely day. I farted. What's the... Pooey. What is that awful smell? Olivia Laura Sanchez. You haven't messed yourself, have you? Yes, mummy. Before we go and change your bum, you had better come here and let me check. There's nothing in there. You've just flatulated you naughty girl. You little fibber. You flatulated and made out that you'd pooed in your knickers. That's a very naughty thing to do. Is that a fancy way of saying I farted? I beg your pardon? Olivia Laura Sanchez, did you just swear? No, mummy, I just said fart. I thought so. That is foul language and you are very naughty to use it. You told me another fib. You little fibber. Naughty girl, if I hear you telling any more fibs you will go to bed. Go to your room, right now. Naughty girl. No. Don't disobey me. Just go. Now. All right then, one more chance. Remember what I told you, no more fibs. Olivia Laura Sanchez. What do you think you're doing? None of your business, Olivia Laura Sanchez. I knew it. You're being naughty again, aren't you? Not in the slightest. Don't you dare tell me that. I've just caught you jumping on the sofa. You told me a fib. That's very naughty. No, I didn't. There, you just told me another fib. That's very, very naughty. You're mishearing me. I'll tell you what you have just done, Olivia Laura Sanchez. You have told me three fibs in the space of just ten minutes, and that is very, 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 very naughty. I heard what mommy told you about telling fibs, and apparently you did not. I did. That's the fourth fib you've told me today. That is really naughty, and it has got to stop. You look constipated. Shall we put a nappy on you? Did you just threaten to put a nappy on me? No. Olivia. This is getting silly. Stop fibbing right now. That. Is. Very. Naughty. But. She'll be very angry about this. What gives you the right to? Olivia, you have told enough fibs for one day. Stop it right now. You bad girl.
We're going to put a nappy on you in a minute. Pooey. What is that awful smell? I farted again. Come here and let us check you. You've gone and messed yourself. How dare you mess yourself and fib to us about flagellating. That's very naughty. We had better go and change your bum. Change my bum, not a nappy. I'm afraid so, Olivia Laura Sanchez. If you're going to mess yourself then you're going to wear nappies. So come with us and we will clean you up and put you a nappy on. Now. That nappy stays on until you need changing. That's your punishment for messing yourself and fibbing to us about it. You're very naughty. You two are the ones who should be in trouble, not I. You are very naughty. How dare you speak to us like that. You're the ones who are naughty, not I. So, Olivia, you're being a minx again, are you? Me? A minx? Never. That is inappropriate. You told me a fib. That's very naughty, I will not tolerate it. What is going on here? Apparently, my naughty little sister thinks it's good to tell fibs. Olivia, look at me. What is it, old codger of about 200 years old? Excuse me, Missy, but I am not 200 years old. I am only 68. Now, please tell me what Mason says isn't true. It isn't true. You're a little fibber? Are you wearing a nappy by any chance? No, Mr. 350-year-old grandfather. First off, how dare you continue to insult me about my age? I am 68, not 350. And secondly, you told me another fib. That's very naughty. Olivia Laura Sanchez, I heard you fibbing again after being warned. How dare you think that's appropriate? Firstly, you know perfectly well you're wearing a nappy. Lizzie and Shelby told me they had to put one on you for messing yourself. Secondly, how dare you insult your grandfather like that? That's really naughty. And thirdly, you've been telling fibs all day. That's very naughty, I will not allow it to continue. You are going to bed right after I've changed your nappy. Come with me, and I will change your nappy and put you to bed. And you will keep your nappies on, all day, every day from that point on. Naughty girl. Okay, so I am sitting here in time out for being naughty. So stupid. Excuse me, Missy. What was that I heard you say? Nothing, Mummy. You're fibbing to me. I know you are. You said time out was stupid, didn't you? No, I said nothing of the kind. Stop telling fibs, you naughty girl. This behavior is getting excessive. Stop it, otherwise I will send you to your room. What is going on here? Olivia is still being naughty after being put in time out for being naughty in the first place. That's not true. So you're calling your mother a liar, are you? No. Don't you fit to me you naughty girl. Your mother, brother and sisters told me about that. I have a party tonight. You think you're going to Danny's sixth birthday party? Not after the way you've behaved. You're grounded. Grounded. That's right. You are staying home tonight, and you are not playing outside for a week. I'm not grounded. Yes, you are. Go to your room, right now. You are a very naughty girl. You heard your mother. Go to your room. Now. Naughty. No. Olivia, look at me. What? You do not speak to me like that. How dare you think that's appropriate? That's very naughty. She has already been grounded for a week, but we will extend it if she doesn't go to her room like she was told. Well, Olivia. Don't just sit there. Go to your room this instant. Disobeying mum and dad is very naughty. You're a naughty. Don't you dare say that again. Go. To. Your. Room. I'm a good girl. No, you're a naughty girl. A very naughty girl, how dare you behave this way? 
You're a naughty girl, Mummy. Olivia. Laura. Sanchez. How dare you speak to me like that? Go to your room, right now or it's off to bed you go. No, you all go to your rooms, or I'll put you to bed. Right, that does it. Olivia, I am taking you upstairs now, and you are going to bed. Naughty. Olivia Sanchez, what do you think you're doing? Get your bottom off the desk, right now. Why should I? How dare you speak to me like that? That is bad talk and I will not have it. You are a very naughty girl. You're the one who is naughty, not I. I will call your mother if you talk back again. It's rude not to reply if someone's talking to you. You are such an idiot. But does it? I am calling your mother. How dare you? Thank you for coming on such short notice, Mrs. Sanchez. What has Olivia done this time? She has been back chatting me all morning. You are in very big trouble, Missy. Why? Because you have been a very naughty girl. How dare you think it's appropriate to back chat Miss Cookson? Are you high or just incredibly stupid? That's exactly what Miss Cookson is talking about. How dare you speak to me like that? That is very naughty of you. Get her out of here. I refuse to teach her any more. Oh that is is. Olivia, you've just got yourself expelled. You are grounded for three weeks. How dare you get expelled from this school. I am taking you home now, and you are going to bed as soon as we get in. Naughty girl. Well, don't just stand there. Get in bed, right now. You have been very naughty today. Get to sleep and think about how badly you've behaved, naughty little girl. Here we are, the whole family together. It is just what we need. Olivia being good for once. She promised not to be naughty today. Which is a good thing. And a very welcome change. I'm going to keep my promise. There's a good girl. Let's just try to imagine what life might be like 20 years from now. Good morning, James and Millie. Good morning, Mum. How are my sweet son and daughter today? We're very well, thank you. Mum. What are your plans for today? We're off to the other side of town. You mean the east side? That's right. I want you to be extra careful. The east side is full of gangsters and thieves. We'll be extra especially careful, Mum. I worry because I love you and I want you to be safe. We know, Mum, and we'd hate for you to never see us again. I know you wouldn't want your loving mother to lose her beloved twin son and daughter. And Millie. Yes, Mum. The men of the East Side rape teenage girls, so you need to be extremely careful. I don't think we should go there. Me neither. We'll go to Portsmouth instead. That's very sensible, and a whole lot safer. Have a good time, kids. I love you so much. We will. We love you too. Mum. Now to go and... Hello there, Millie. Hello, Olivia. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. And you? Also very well, thank you. Glad to hear it. Where are James and Millie? They've gone to Portsmouth for the day. That's good, you want them to stay off the east side. Isn't it time you went to pick Rose up? What time is it? It's nearly three o'clock you naughty girl. Go on, off you go. Naughty mummy. I'd better get to the school and pick my daughter up. Now I can go and get my shopping. Shelby. Molly. Hello, Lizzie. Hello, Aunt Lizzie. 
How are you both? We're very well, thanks. That's good to hear. How's school, Molly? Not too bad. That's good to hear. So, you must be what? Thirty-two now? No, I'm only fourteen. Fourteen, of course you are. How silly of me. She's not doing very well in school at the moment. She's failing most of her subjects. My report card is due in two days. Remember our little talk? You'll be grounded if you get thirties or lower because that means E's and F's. One week per fail grade. I know, Mum. If I fail half my classes, I have to repeat the third year. Why did you tell me your day wasn't too bad? Because I'm embarrassed. Better get this one home now, Lizzie. See you and the twins later. See you later. That was lovely. Lizzie. Hi, Mum. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. You? Also very well, thank you. Even though I'm getting old. No, you're not. You're only fifty-five. And my thirty-eight-year-old daughter is a gem. Thank you, Mum. I love you so much. I love you too, sweetheart. How are my twin grandchildren? They're fine, thank you. They're in Portsmouth at the moment. Bless those two. Best be off now. See you later. See you later. I'm lucky today. Hey, Lizzie. Aunt Lizzie. Hello, Mason and Laura. How are you? Very well, thanks. And you too? Very well, thanks. But it is difficult being a single father. Dad, take it from your daughter. You are a great father, and I love you so much. Please don't doubt yourself. You are doing a great job raising me. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. Mason, take it from your eldest sister, who is a single mother. You are a fantastic father, and your daughter here, she thinks the absolute world of you. I think it's fantastic that she is this kind of relationship with her father, and she's turned out much better being raised in a single parent household. I am really proud of you. Give our love to James and Millie. I will indeed. Bye now. Love you. I love you too. Both of you. Time to go home now. I'm very sorry. I was fifteen minutes late picking you up, sweetheart. I forgive you, mummy. You nonce. What have I told you about name calling? Not to. Exactly, and you just disobeyed me. You naughty. Go on, off to your room. You naughty thing. So that's our future. Possibly, sweetheart, and you have been very well behaved today. She's been a little angel. Blimey, is that the time? What is the time? Well, Bickle, it's time to put you to bed now. Yes, mummy. Good girl, come with me, and I will get you ready and get you tucked up in bed. All right, baby. In you get, and I'll tuck you in. Good night, precious. Good night, mummy. Sweet dreams. Love you, mummy. I love you too, baby. There, that's that. Olivia, have you done something in your nappy? Um. You better come here and let me check. Yep, there's a poo in there. Time to change your nappy. Change my nappy, but daddy. Don't be naughty, just come and change your nappy. Olivia, you need your nappy done. It's messy, be a good girl and go and change your nappy. But mummy. Are you being naughty again? Olivia Laura Sanchez you cheeky monkey. You need a nappy change. I don't want a nappy change. Sweetheart, your nappy is dirty and needs changing. If we don't change you, you'll get nappy rash. So be a good girl and go and change your nappy. I don't want daddy to do it. You want mummy to give you a nappy change? Yes. Come on, pickle let's go and change your nappy.
Can't argue with that. She's all changed now. Where is she? I put her to bed for a while. Why? Because she was tired. Blessed girl. Hello, sweetie. Did you have a nice nap? Yes, thank you, mummy. You don't need to worry about changing her at the moment. I changed her nappy when she woke up. Thank you, Lizzie. That's very helpful of you. Mum, I love my baby sister here so much. I'd never neglect to help take care of her. I love you too, Lizzie. No jokes, you'd make a great mummy yourself one day. You are so sweet to say that. I'm a naughty girl, huh? Of course not, sweetie. You haven't done anything naughty in weeks. You are a little angel. Lizzie is right, Pickle. Over the last few months we've watched you change from the devil's child to the sweetest little girl on the block. Shucks. I'd be happy to start using the toilet like a big girl. I knew you'd say that so I changed your nappy for a pair of knickers. All right Olivia. You can wear knickers around the house as long as you use the toilet. You still have to have a nappy tonight in case of accidents. That's fair enough. Good girl. And by our rules you must still have nappies on. When we go out. Can't argue with that. Good girl. I'm back. Olivia, sweetheart, what's the matter? You look sad. I, I, I. Come here, my sweetie. What's upsetting you, love? I'm ashamed of the way I behaved before. I've forgiven you for that, sweetheart. There must be something else upsetting you. Since I started behaving, bigger kids have bullying me and, and, and. You look like you're about to cry. Stop. Come back. That poor girl. I feel bad for her. I'm here to pick up Olivia. I regret to inform you that she's just run out, upset about being bullied. Oh no, poor girl. Any idea where she might have gone? I'm afraid not. Sorry. Thank you, Miss Kurtzen. I hope my husband and children have had. Lily, sweetheart. What is it, Robert? You do look upset. Unfortunately, Olivia ran out of school before I got that her pickle up. Why? She's upset about being bullied. Please tell me this isn't true. I'm afraid it is. Oh dear. We have a crying mum and a very sad dad. What's wrong, mum and dad? Do tell us. Kids, something terrible has happened. What's happened? Your little sister has run away. She's upset because she's been getting bullied at school. Ow, that poor, poor thing. Why would anyone want to hurt her like that? Since she started behaving we have had the sweet little girl. And now we find out she's being bullied for it. And those bullies have made her run away. We must go looking for her. We can't let anything worse happen to her. Hello everybody. Golly, Romana. You found Olivia. Yep, I found her. Thank you so much. Where was she? She found her way to my house. Oh, bless her. She told me why she ran away, and I just need clarification on whether that's true or not. I'm afraid it is, Auntie Romana. Thank you for finding me and letting me in, Auntie Romana. You're welcome, precious. I love you very much. Olivia, my precious little baby. Come here. We are glad you're back. We were so worried. What a family. We love you, sweetheart. We want you to be safe. And happy. And nice and clean. When was the last time Miss Cookson changed your nappy, sweetheart? Three hours ago. Come with me, and I'll change your nappy.
I'm thinking I ought to sit down. Mummy. Yes, sweetheart. You look pretty today. Thank you, baby. How very sweet of you to say that. I have to tell it like it is. I love you so much. I love you too, my precious little baby. You are so gorgeous. If I were a male and a lot older I'd marry you. Oh Olivia, you naughty girl. That kind of flattery was totally unexpected. I'm a very naughty girl. I need to go to my room. Olivia, you weren't naughty. I said you were because of your flattering comments. I do love you. I love you too, sweetheart. What's this all about? Daddy, you look strikingly handsome. Aren't you sweet? Thank you, sweetie. Are you still being naughty with your flattery? Maybe. Your flattery is so adorably naughty. I'm very naughty with it, yes. Hello everybody. Hello gorgeous big sister of 19. You are so pretty in person. Olivia, you see me every day. Thank you anyway. You sweetheart. I kind of feel in love with. Olivia, stop being a naughty girl with your flattery. Olivia, while your comment was very flattering, I agree with mum on this one. You're being naughty with your flattery. Punish me then. What for? You haven't done anything wrong. That's because I don't do wrong anymore. Can I interrupt? What is it, baby? I feel like I'm going to wet myself. Do you want a nappy on? Yes. Okay, come on then. Let's go and put a nappy on you. There, all changed. Why did you want a nappy on? Because I wasn't going to get to the toilet on time. Okay. I love the present. We still have the future to look forward to. Do either of you two ever remember when we were young? How far back are we talking here? 30 years. Remember back to 1990? Actually, Lily, we are in 2025 now so we want to remember back to 1995. So back when I was 11, you were 16 and Romano was 24? That's right. This is such a good show. Hey Lily, what are you watching? The testicle trio. You'd better turn it off now. You know mom and dad don't want you watching it. What they don't know won't hurt them. You're naughty. I'm not naughty. What is going? Lily, what the hell do you think you're doing? Turn off that filth and go to your room, right now. No way. How dare you let me catch you watching that filthy show which mum and dad have forbidden you from watching, and then talk to me like that. You are a very naughty girl. Go to your room, right now. Why should I? Because you've been naughty. Get up those stairs now. Naughty. No. If you keep on behaving like that, I will put a nappy on you. Stop it. Blimey, was I really that naughty? I'd completely forgotten about that, until now. Lily, are you okay? That memory has upset her. I'm very upset by that memory. Lily sweetheart, what's the matter? I've just had a bad memory of my childhood, on the other hand that was then, and this is now. Hello Fem. What a day. Work was good. I'll say it was. Here we are in 2025, and your mother and I are now 41. I'm now 54. I'm now 46. I'm now 24. I'm now 23. I'm now 22. And I'm now 11. And my little James and Millie here are now 2. And my little Molikens here is now 3 months old. Look at those three. They're so cute. Leela's pregnant right now. I'll be a father in nine months' time. Congratulations, bro. She's not ready for a kid, but I am. 
If it comes to it when the baby's born, I shall take custody and bring it up on my own. How far along is she? Two hours. What are you hoping for? A son or a daughter? A son would be great. Then, a daughter would be just as great. I'd be happy with either. Lizzie and Shelby both have daughters. Yes, but unlike Shelby, Lizzie also has a son. I know that. Good morning, honey. Good morning, sweet cheeks. Good morning, mom and dad. Good morning, sweetheart. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. And yourselves? Would you like some breakfast? No, thank you. Dad, as I'm 12 years old now, I'd like some breakfast, please. What would you like? Shattered wheat, please. Okay, baby. I'll come and get you some. Olivia is such a good girl. So sweet. So gorgeous, so well-mannered, and a pleasure to have around. That was a good... pardon me. What have you done? I flatulated. Well done for excusing yourself after making that naughty noise. I'm not poor-mannered like most kids my age. You are one of the politest girls on the block. Let's get outside. The family should all be here soon. I think I can hear them turning up. Hello, my lovely pickles. It's great to be here today. We love having you. What a lovely day. For family time. Hello everyone. What a gorgeous day. I agree with you there. Look at those three adorable little munchkins. They're getting big. Tell me about it. Molly's nappy size has had to be upgraded. James and Millie are walking now, and they're potty trained. I'm now two weeks away from becoming a father. It's a girl. I'm naming her Laura, and I'm taking sole custody of her from birth. You do realize Layla won't be any less of a mother to Laura. I know that. That's why I'm giving her the option of coming to see Laura. If she ignores it, she's worthless. Mason, I've come to a decision. I'm all ears, honey. What is your decision? I want to be a part of my daughter's life, so I'm going to join custody with you. Little Laura needs two parents. Thank heavens for that. I was hoping you'd want to be part of our daughter's life after being given that option. I think we should get married. Leela Morgan, I love you so much. Will you be my wife? Of course I will, Mason. I love you so much. Congratulations to Mason and Layla. We are all so happy for you both. Let's get them married now. Layla, welcome to our family. Thank you all so much. It's June 2026 right now. I know, I'll be starting back at Sherlock's as a second year student in September. Are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. Robert and I are now 42. I'm now 72. I'm now 75. I'm now 55. I'm now 47. I'm now 25. I'm now 24. I'm now 23. I'm now 22. I'm now 12. James and Millie here are now 4. And Molly here is now 1. I hope my gorgeous man is all right. He's been gone a while. Lily. Roscoe, what brings you here? Why are you so sad? I have some very bad news for you that concerns Robert. What news? I'm sorry to be the one who has to tell you this but he was in a car crash and his life was taken. What? Why him? Why? He was only 42. On top of that, he was my husband and the father of my four kids. I love him so much. I'm so sorry. What's the matter with Lily? She's just lost her husband to a horrible accident. How am I going to break this to the kids? They'll be really cut up about it. We'll stay and help you tell them if you want. Olivia won't understand fully. She is only 12. 
Hello. Oh dear. What's wrong Lily? My husband was killed in a car crash today. We're so sorry to hear that, sweetie. Thank you, mother and father. We're really upset too, as he was our son-in-law. He was also mine and Romana's brother-in-law. We're really sad about this. I can't believe this has happened. We shall leave you alone with the kids, as you need them more than ever. Kids, something not very nice has happened. What's happened, Mum? It's your father. Unfortunately he was killed in a car crash today. No 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 no. Not our daddy. Why him? Why? Why did that have to happen so early? It's not fair. I can't believe we're never going to see our dear father again. I know this has happened so suddenly and it's going to be very hard for all of us. We weren't ready to lose the world's greatest father. Mason, sweetheart. What's happened? Our dad was taken from us in a car crash today. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. But why my father-in-law? Why? Come on my poor baby. Let's get you home. Rest in peace, Robert J. Sanchez born, 1984 died, 2026 beloved husband, father, father-in-law and grandfather. Fourteen years have passed since my gorgeous man's untimely death. I do still miss him but I'm getting on with my life now. It is now 2040, I'm now 56 years old and grandmother to five lovely children. Hello, Mum. Hi, Lizzie, my darling daughter. How are you doing today? I'm very well thanks. Shelby and I were wondering if you wanted to join us for lunch out. We think you deserve it after what you've been through these past 14 years. That's very sweet of you both. I'd love to take you up on your offer. My 38 and 39 year old daughters are gems. Super. We should get going, as it's nearly 12 o'clock. 20, 40 already. Doesn't time fly when you're busy? I'm now 26 years old and mother to a beautiful 6 year old daughter. Hey mummy. Hi Rose, my little pumpkin. How are you this fine afternoon? I'm fine, thank you. That's good to hear. You look pretty today, mummy. Thank you, sweetheart. Guess what? What? I farted. Rose Amber Sanchez. You know we don't use foul language in this family. On top of that you're supposed to excuse yourself after breaking wind. You're a very naughty girl. You know what happens to naughty little girls who swear and break wind without using their manners afterwards. They get put in nappies and sent to their rooms. Let's go and change your bun. Put a nappy on you and then it's off to your room. You're naughty. Here I am at the park. Fourteen years old and having a nappy on when we get home. Mum, I'm fourteen now. Why do I need a nappy? You need a nappy because you didn't tidy your room this morning. And you acted like a baby when I reminded you. So you're having nappies on until further notice. Come with me and I will put your nappy on now. Here I am. 36 years old and still having to change your nappies. Here we are at the park. Me and Millie are 17 years old now. We are indeed. And I'm 15 years old now. Did you hear? Laura's in nappies for messing her room up and acting like a baby. Molly, you do realize that if your mum catches you taking the mickey out of Laura for wearing nappies, you'll end up in nappies too? What's going on? Molly thinks it's a good idea to tease Laura for wearing nappies. Molly, you naughty girl. You're in nappies yourself at the moment. On top of that, you're supposed to be grounded for getting poor grades. When we get home, I am going to change your nappy, and then you are going to bed. How dare you sneak out of the house? Can't argue with that. Hello you two. Hello, Uncle Mason. Are you on your way home? Yep, my work is done for the day. 37 years old and can't wait to get home. 
Here we are in 2040. I'm now 89 years old and love my family. I'm now 86 years old and also love my family. I'm now 69 years old and, oh dear. And I'm now 61 years old and, wait a moment, life goes on. I hope my sweet little Rose gets up soon. Mummy. Good morning, Rose. Good morning, Mummy. Did you sleep well? Yes, Mummy. I slept really fucking well. Rose Amber Sanchez. What did you just say? I just told you I slept really fucking well. I thought I heard that naughty word out of your mouth. But fuck isn't a naughty word. Excuse me, Rose. But fuck isn't a naughty word. How dare you let me catch you saying that horrible word to your mother's face. It is a very naughty word, and you are very naughty to use it. But. Don't. You. Dare. Say. That. Naughty word to me, Missy. How dare you think that's appropriate. Rose, look at me right now. You are being very naughty today, you had better stop it before you go with your grandmother. I will not have you being naughty at my house. If you do play up you will be in very big trouble. Is that clear? Clear as a bell, Grandma. Good girl. Say goodbye to Mummy for the weekend and we'll get going. Bye Mummy. See you Monday, darling. See you Monday. Have a nice weekend with your Grandma. I will. Love you, Mummy. I love you too, sweetheart. Don't you worry, Olivia. She'll be safe. I know she will, Mum. I forgot my changing bag. You can't leave without your changing bag. It's got your nappies in it. If nappies are your main concern, I have some round my house. Pampers size 6. They'll fit her. It's more the safe side if you take her out, really. She tends to have accidents in public. I'll be putting them on her during the day anyway. She never goes to the toilet at my house. She's having one on when we get back to mine. One what? One nappy, of course. If your grandmother says you have to have a nappy on upon arrival at a house, she means it. Don't try to talk your way out of it. In fact, lie down and I'll put a nappy on you before you go. Come on, Rose. Be a good girl and put your nappy on, and then we'll get going. No. No nappy, no weekend at mine. Lay down please. Why? Because I want a nappy on you. Why? Stop asking silly questions you are having a nappy on. Just lay down. No. Rose Amber Sanchez, you have to learn that when I say something, I mean it. I have said you are having a nappy on, and I mean it. Come on, nappy. Now. Once this nappy is on, it stays on until you need changing. And you are in nappies until I say so. If you take that nappy off, you will be in huge trouble. Keep it on until you need changing. Hello everyone. Hi. Laura, what's the matter? That is an awful smell. Do we need to change your nappy, Rose? Let me check, nope, you're clean. It's me. I. Need a nappy? Have a really bad stomach upset. I could poo myself at any moment. You need a nappy. I already have a nappy on. I've done one. Better change your nappy now. Lay down and we'll change your nappy. Don't worry darling. Changing your nappy will make you comfortable. Aunt Layla. Not now, Rose. I'm changing Laura's nappy. Let her change Laura's nappy first. There, all changed. How long has Laura had this stomach upset? Three weeks. So you've been changing her nappies for three weeks? 
Yes. I've been changing her nappies for three weeks, and we don't know when her stomach is going to calm down. Poor Lord. It is nice to be living in the house I grew up in. I wish my parents weren't sent to a retirement home. Mum. Olivia, what's wrong? Are you sure you don't mind looking after this naughty little mutton while I'm at work? Absolutely, I'm always happy to help my children when they need it. Ah, uh, shall I go and get you a room? I beg your pardon? Rose, was that a bit of cheek I heard? Rose, what have I told you about making the dirty joke? Not because it's naughty. Oh Rose you naughty girl. Making a dirty joke. You're six years old, that is highly inappropriate. What are you gonna do? For starters here's what you're going to do. You are going to behave yourself. I will not have you being naughty, is that clear? Clear as a bell. Just so you know, if you do misbehave. You will be punished for it. Also clear as a bell. Good girl. Say goodbye to mummy and come and sit down. Bye mummy. Bye, sweetheart. See you later. I love you. I love you too, mummy. Have a seat, darling. Naughty me. What have you done? I'm not wearing a nappy for starters. I think I can trust you to use the toilet. What if I don't use the toilet? It'll be a nappy all, so whenever you need to go just get yourself to the toilet. Hello Grandma. Hello Laura. What brings you here? I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop in for a visit. I'm always glad to see my grandchildren. I see you're looking after Rose while Aunt Olivia is at work. I am indeed. Don't you have? What is that horrible smell? Rose, you haven't weed yourself have you? Stand up and let me check. Turn around. Yes, she has. Look at me, Rose. I'm sorry. It's too late for that. I'm going to have to put a nappy on you now. That's very naughty. How dare you wet yourself on my sofa? Naughty girl, Rose. Lie down and I will put you a nappy on. Now, you are so naughty for wetting yourself. So very naughty. I thought I could trust you to be a big girl. Mum, why are you putting a nappy on Rose? She wet herself. Rose, if you wet yourself then that's naughty isn't it? A bit. No Rose, at your age wetting yourself is very naughty, you ought to know better. No wonder you keep ending up in nappies. Sit there and think about what you've done. Naughty girl, I'm very cross with you. Naughty little girl. What's going on? Your naughty cousin here thinks it's appropriate to wet herself. She's wearing a nappy because of it. Here you are. Here I am. Molly, look at me. Somebody didn't make her bed this morning. That's naughty. Molly you're 15 now. You should know how to be tidy. Are you cross with me? No, I'm just very disappointed that my daughter doesn't care about her bedroom. I care about my room, obviously. Otherwise I'd have given it one of those expensive makeovers. Molly Rose Sanchez. What did you just say to me? I said if I didn't care about my room I'd have made it over. Maybe if you weren't deaf and stupid you'd have heard me. Molly. I've never heard you speak to your mother like that before. What is wrong with you? That's very naughty. That does it. I have had it with your attitude. How dare you speak to me like that? You are grounded for three weeks. When we get home you are going to your room. I'll leave you to it mum. And you need to change Rose's nappy. Time to change your nappy now, Rose. Let's get this wet nappy off you, clean you up and put a clean nappy on you now.
What's next? Well, that depends on your behavior. If you're going to be good there's more fun to be had. If you're going to be naughty, you'll go in time out. You've got to be fucking joking. What have I told you about that language? You're very naughty to use it again after being warned. Sit on the sofa and think about what you've done. Naughty girl, mummy will hear about this. Hi grandma. Hello James and Millie, my two lovely young adult grandchildren. Seeing as we are 18 now. Yes, we are young adults. How are you anyway? Very busy, as I'm looking after this naughty little madam here while Olivia's at work. What did she do this time? First, she wet herself on the sofa, for which I put her in nappies. And then she swore after having been warned about it. That's very naughty of you, Rose. I'd have thought that at six years old you know better. I do. Rose, was that a fib I just heard? No. It sounded like one. Rose, are you being naughty again? No, mummy. She's fibbing to you, Olivia. She is being naughty. As a matter of fact, she's been very naughty all day. I even had to put nappies on her. Rose Amber Sanchez, look at me right now. How dare you think it's appropriate to be naughty for Grandma while I'm at work? That is not what I expect to hear. I can tell you have a nappy on, because it's wet and messy. By the smell in the air. Lay down and we'll change your nappy. And then get you home to bed. Who's the naughty girl who didn't change her daughter's nappy properly this morning? What are you talking about? Olivia, you forgot to put a clean nappy on Rose when you got her up this morning. That's very naughty of you. You know she can't stay clean and dry. Naughty mummy. Very naughty mummy, as punishment for forgetting to put your daughter into a clean nappy this morning, I'm putting you in nappies for a month, you and Rose will remain here for a month. Both getting your nappies changed when needed. So this means you're going to put a nappy on me? I don't have any choice in the matter. I have to put a nappy on you. So lay down and we'll put your nappy on, knickers come off. And nappy goes on. You deserve every minute of that nappy going on. Naughty girl. I can change my own nappies. No you won't. I'm your mother you will leave. What a lovely morning. It most certainly is. Roscoe, you made me jump. Sorry, Lily. That's okay. What are you up to today? I'm just gonna be sitting in. That sounds like a mighty fine idea. I'll leave you to it. Hey there, baby sister. Hey, Romana. What are you up to today? I'm having a relaxing day. In that case, Romana H69 shall leave her 56-year-old sister to it. Hello, Lily. Hello, mother and father. What are you doing today? Nothing naughty, we hope. First off, I haven't been naughty since I was 16, just before I matured. And second, I'm having a relaxing day. In that case we shall leave you to it. What a gorgeous morning. Good morning, mummy. Good morning, sweetheart. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. Can I check your nappy, please? Okay, turn around. It's time to get you changed and ready. First off, we need to change your nappy. So lay down and we'll change your nappy. Take poo nappy off. Clean me up. Apply powder. And finally, put a clean nappy on. There, you're all changed and ready. You know I'll change your nappy when you need it. Or end up in nappies yourself. Hiya. How are you doing today? 
Very good, thanks. That was a good one. Laura, did you just flatulate again? Yeah. Then what do you say? Um. No, you don't say on, you say excuse me. Say it now, otherwise it'll be a nappy on. But. No box Laura. Excuse yourself right now, or nappy. Laura, it is very naughty to flatulate without excusing yourself afterwards. Excuse yourself right now, or I shall put an appy on you myself. But. No books, Laura. Excuse yourself right now, or nappy. I'm not saying it. You can jolly well have a nappy on. Come here and I'll put one on you. But. Laura, no arguments. Go and put a nappy on, now. I'm putting a nappy on you, whether you like it or not. Maybe if you have this nappy on, you won't be so naughty next time. Take your knickers off. Clean up. Apply powder. And put a nappy on. That nappy stays on until you need changing. You were staying in nappies for a month. How dare you? It's time we changed your nappy, Rose. Right then, let's change your nappy, darling. Wet nappy comes off. Clean my baby up. Apply powder. And put a clean nappy on my baby. I hope Molly gets good results in her final exam. She needs 40 in order to pass. If her report card comes back as nothing but 10s, 20s and 30s, she'll be grounded for a whole month. On the other hand, if her report card comes back with 40s or higher, I will be so proud of her. Here she comes now. Mum, I got my end of year progress report today. Let's see it. Sherlock's Comprehensive School Year 4 End of Year Report for Molly Sanchez Classes passed, Art 45 Math 60, English 55, Home Ec 78, PE 80, ICT 66 Drama 90, Technology 100, Science 83, Geography 65 Classes failed, History 30, Music 13, Social Studies 22 Dear Molly, congratulations on passing the fourth year at Sherlock's Comprehensive School. As you know, with the successful completion of the fourth year, you are eligible for prefect selection. We shall let you know if you have been selected nearer the time. We are also compensating your failed classes. Also. As a fifth-year student, you are required to undergo work experience in the autumn term. It will last three weeks. And as this is also your level year, you are empowered to choose your subjects this year. Whichever subjects you deselect will be dropped from your timetable, officially. Please choose wisely. Well done, sweetheart. I am so proud of you for passing your fourth year. You deserve to be compensated for history, music and social studies. Thanks, Mum. I know which classes I'm deselecting already. History, music and social studies. Those are very wise choices to drop, sweetie. I'm thrilled to have made it to the fifth year. So proud of myself. I thought I was sure to flunk out. Molly. The only way to flunk out is to fail every class. If that had happened, you would not only had been expelled from school, 
but you would also be grounded for a very long time. Luckily, that didn't happen. You only failed three classes though. You're not grounded. I cannot believe I've been made a prefect. I am so proud. Molly, sweetheart. Yes, Mum. I believe you have something to tell me. I've been made a prefect. I got the letter this morning. Well done, sweetheart. I am so proud of you. Thank you, Mum. I'm proud of me too. Darling big sister, nephew and niece, we have good news for you. What news? I have been made a prefect. Well done, sweetie. We knew you would be. You truly deserve it. I think so too. Don't be so modest, Molly. You know damn well you deserve it. Lizzie, watch your language please. Damn? But that's not swearing, Auntie Lizzie, you were asked nicely to watch your language. If you don't comply, I'll have to give you a detention. Steady the, Molly. You're not prefect of the household. That may be, James but my mum asked your mum very nicely to watch her language, and she did not comply. She's very naughty, and you, Missy have no right to tell me off. Hello, you too. Molly has been made a prefect. Well done Molly. You deserve it. We're so proud of you. Thank you so much. I'm really proud of me too. So you should be. You deserve it. Those kids better watch their steps, especially Lord. That naughty cousin of yours will really test your limits. There'll be plenty of detentions coming her way if she does. She certainly is but one of that. Rosamba Sanchez. What did I tell you about that language? If I used just once today, I'd be grounded. Exactly. And you just said the F word. That's very naughty. You're grounded. Hi there. What news have you got for us? I've been made a prefect. Very well done, sweetie. We're also proud of you. I'm so chuffed. What the fuck? Laura, we warned you about that language. How dare you think it's appropriate to ignore our warning? You are grounded for a week. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. And just for the babyish attitude you are having a nappy on when we get in. Let's get this bad girl home and put her a nappy on, now. So, a little bird tells me that my granddaughter has been made a prefect. That's true, Mum. Molly, sweetheart, I am so proud of you. Thank you, Grandma. I am so proud of me too. You deserve it, my little honey kitten. Your grandfather would be proud of you too. If you had failed and been held back a year, you would not only be grounded, but you would be in nappies as well. You mean you'd actually put your daughter in nappies as punishment if she'd failed the fourth year? Yes, mum. You're a naughty girl, aren't you? Why am I naughty? You're naughty because you'd force Molly to put nappies on, if she'd failed. Oh dear mum. Looks like you're about to be put in nappies. No. I'm going to ground her for a week. I'll put her in detention for two weeks. Mum, I'm 38. You can't ground me anymore, Shelby Rose Sanchez. I am your mother, and I think you'll find that when I punish you, it stands. You're grounded. Off to your room. Now. The last 11 years have gone by very quickly. It is now 2051, and I'm now 25 years old and mother to a beautiful little girl. Good morning, mummy. Good morning, Lauren. I slept well last night. We have visitors coming today. Hello there. Hello Molly. How are you and little Lucy today? 
I'm fine thanks but poor Lucy isn't very well. I'm fine. You told me this morning you weren't very well. I did. You were fibbing to me weren't you? No. You just fibbed again. That's very naughty. I will not allow it. But. No buts, Lucy. We were very naughty to fib to me about being ill, and then fib about fibbing about that. You are going to bed when we get in. What are you grinning at, Lauren? You're not going to be naughty, are you? No, Mummy. Good afternoon. How are we doing today? Time to be a little naughty. Amber Jane, don't you dare misbehave. You were warned before we left the house that if you're naughty, you'll go to bed when we get in. Lauren, if you don't stop with that cheeky smile, I'll put you to bed. I don't think so. That was very naughty, Lauren. You don't speak to me like that. You are grounded for a month. Whatever. That's it. Get your naughty bottom off to bed right now. How dare you. Sorry about that, Auntie Olivia. No need to apologize, Laura. Rose and I have our hands full with Amber Jane's naughtiness. All the time. And she looks as though she's about to play up. Amber Jane Sanchez. Don't you dare be naughty again. Me. Naughty. Never. Okay, I think I'll be taking my naughty sister home and putting her to bed. Hello, Laura. How is our 25-year-old daughter today? I'm fine, thanks, Mum and Dad. Where's Lauren? She thought it was appropriate to be naughty again, so I sent her to bed. Not much cop worrying about seeing her. Here we are in 2051. I'm now 47. I'm now 48. Again, I'm now 25. 20, 51. I'm now 37. I'm now 17. And your naughty sister is now 5, but the way she acts, you'd think she's 2. I'm now 49. I'm now 50. I'm now 26. I'm now 6. I'm now 67. Thank goodness for the rejuvenation clinics. As am I. Actually Robert, as you died aged 42, your physical age stopped there, although your true age is 67. That means Shelby, Mason and I are now physically older than our own father. That's right. 2051. Thank goodness for those rejuvenation clinics. This is how a 72-year-old man can look around age 30 years old. Again. And it shall an 80-year-old woman can look around 40 years old, again. It is also how an 100-year-old man can look around 45 years old, again. And it's how a 98-year-old woman can look around 50 years old, again. Millie and I are now 29. We are indeed. What a gorgeous day. Shame the nice weather never lasts longer than a week or two. Rose is coming over today. If she has a dirty mind there will be some nappies going on. Good morning, Mummy. Good morning, sweetheart. What are we doing today? Is Rose coming over? She is indeed. What if she gets a dirty mind? She'll be in nappies. I'm here. Hello, Rose. I thought I wasn't going to make it due to the delay of the bus. Fucking bastards. I beg your pardon, Missy. I said I thought I wasn't going to make it because of delay with the bus. Fucking bastards. Rose Amber Sanchez. How dare you think it's appropriate to use foul language in my house, and in front of my daughter. That's very naughty. I will not have it. What bus was it you were waiting for? Another thing before you go any further. If you're going to be dirty-minded, you will be put in a nappy. 
Don't you dare, Molly, you look constipated. Maybe you need a nappy on. That does it. I warned you about being dirty-minded and you went and had a dirty thought anyway. Naughty girl, I'm going to have to put a nappy on you now. Me? A nappy? I don't think so. You are having a nappy on whether you like it or not. It's your punishment for being naughty and having a dirty mind in my house, so lay down, right now. Dirty mind equals nappies.